Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? Peace, love, and happiness to you champions out there in the world. I wanted to give you guys a shout out real quick. Uh, let's see, let's see. We got a we got a real good show for you guys today on this podcast. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you guys are mentally conditioned to want the better things in life. You are mentally conditioned from a young age to want the better things in life. And sometimes you guys fight it, but don't fight it. Embrace it. Love it. Understand it. I'm going to give you an example. If you guys, if any of you guys have kids, right? Take them to a toy store. Take them to a toy store and do this a very quick experiment. I know Toys R Us is gone, but you can find some other toy stores out there. Take them to a toy store and tell them to select three toys, right? While they're looking for these toys, you'll notice that your kids will generally gravitate towards the biggest toy. The bigger, the better, right? And usually when it's the biggest toy, it's the most expensive. Now, you will ask yourself, hmm, that's interesting. They watch this on television all the time. With this cartoon, they, now they have a toy that they can select for like, you know, who knows, $15, $15 $20. But they gravitates towards a toy that doesn't have any television shows and, you know, not on Disney, none of that stuff. And they'll select a huge toy because mentally we equate something that is bigger or heavier to be more enjoyable. And I'll give you another example, wine. So they did a, they did an experiment, right? They asked a couple of volunteers to uh, do some wine tasting. And shout out to you guys. Uh, shout out London, Noble, uh, Tatiana, Cindy. Shout out to you guys. Um, they did an experiment, right? Uh, they asked a couple of volunteers to try out some wine. And when they tried out the wine, they had, <clears throat> they put fake price tags on the two wines. One wine was worth $5. In reality, one wine was worth $5. The other one was worth $10. What they did was, instead of putting $10 on the other bottle of wine, they put $90 on that bottle of wine, right? So when they asked the volunteers to try out the wine, more of the volunteers chose to enjoy, chose the, the most expensive wine, right? So then they took a second group of volunteers and then they asked them to taste the wine. They asked them to taste the wine and they did not put the price tags on there, right? More of the volunteers chose the $5 wine because they did not have a price to equate it to. So what they did was they wind up doing an MRI on the brain waves of the people that were purchasing or trying out the wine. Come to find out the people that chose the 90 bottle, the $90 bottle wine, there was a neurological explosion in their mind. In their mind, they were enjoying the wine more. They they were experiencing they were there was more endorphins firing off saying that that like I know this wine is good because it's expensive. Because it is expensive. So mentally we are already conditioned to want to buy the most expensive item, to want to live a more lavish life, to want a big house, to want a bigger car, a fancier car, an exotic car, take exotic uh, vacations. 
where we're conditioned to want that already. So the only thing that stands in the way of us getting to where we really want to live is knowing how to position yourself, your company, and your brand for it to bring in that type of income. See, <clears throat> one of the biggest problems that people have when it comes to charging more money for their product, this is really two reasons. One is the self-conscious thing. They don't have the self-confidence to ask for that type of money because, you know, maybe they don't feel that their product is worth it. Maybe they feel that they can't afford it or the, the customer won't be able to afford it. That that's That's one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people don't ask for premium prices. The second biggest reason is that you have to understand when you're asking for premium prices, when you're selling any type of goods out of the norm and you're catering to affluent customers, you will not get a large influx of people coming to buy your product. Meaning the person that sells a five to $30 million home is not going to have a lot of clientele or a high volume of clients coming in to buy their, these homes for five, 30, you know, a hundred million dollars. They're going to have trickles. They may have one, two, five in a year. Of course, that commission is much, much higher versus a person that's selling a million, you know, like a, a hundred $20,000 properties, you know, um, $30,000 properties. It's different. So you have to pace yourself. You have to pace yourself when you are selling luxury goods. When you're selling luxury goods, you have to realize it. Just think of the Louis Vuitton store. The Louis Vuitton store does not get that high volume of people like a, like a, Nordstrom, you know, and Nord Nordstrom's up there. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue is up there also. But let, uh, just think of your rinky dink retail store. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, those places do not receive a huge influx of volume of people buying their product. So you have to understand that. When you are catering to more of a fluent or you have a luxury brand that you're trying to sell or a premium product, you are not going to have a high volume of people. You're going to have a selective few that want it. Not everybody can afford a Rolls Royce. More people can afford a Hyundai than a Rolls Royce. So you have to ask yourself, do you want quality or quantity? Do you want quality customers? that can afford to buy your premium product? Or do you want a high volume of people coming in and buying your product at a very low ticket? One of the things you have to keep in mind is that you're gonna to have to deal with a lot of customer service. Of course, the more people you get, the more customer service is gonna to have to pay, pay attention to the customer's needs. Walk into your local Walmart today and look at the customer service aisle. You'll always see that line packed with people. There's always people in that line because they service in a high volume ratio. They service a lot of people in a high volume ratio. So I hope this helps out. Peace and love to all you guys. And uh, hey, if you guys haven't signed up for my Sales and Marketing Bootcamp. You guys need to do that today. Um, it is a email bootcamp. So basically you will get an email every three days on how to sell and market your product and services on a luxury level. Not a, not a level where people cannot afford your product. On a luxury level, on a high level. So definitely sign up for my sales and marketing bootcamp. Trust me, it has changed lives and it has changed people's income and revenue. Check it out. One love. Peace.